Oh, I hope they don't get disappointed because it's me. No. I'll wait for you here. Good luck. Thank you. They'll open the door for me, right? Yeah. They will open the door. You don't have to do anything. Just wave and be happy. Okay, there are Alexa fans here. Thank God. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I was so happy. It's it was truly a dream come true. So And it was just so lovely hearing people scream and be supportive and you know look at me in the eyes and be like oh you're so cool like that was just so beautiful like 그런 소리를 들으니까 어 감동 받았어요 actually so it was about 10,000 people the fans were so loud and so supportive, and it was just an overall really cool experience for me. Again, being able to meet the artists that I look up to when I was just a fan was something absolutely incredible. 제가 문별 선배님이랑 같이 뭐 콜라보 영상 찍었어요. 그때는 문별 선배님이 컴백 하셨는데 제가 커버 영상 찍으려고 했는데 근데 갑자기 오. <웃음> 오, 진짜 와우 상상도 못 가는데요. <웃음> So when I'm promoting, you know, everyone knows that idols promote at the music shows. 저랑 뭐 NCT 선배님이랑 같이 겹쳤어요. 그리고 뭐 세븐틴 uh, 선배님이랑도 겹쳤어요. 활동 겹쳤어요. 그래서 제가 뭐그 복도 갔다가 like when I'm walking in the hallways, if I see anybody from the group, I'm like, okay, don't freak out, don't freak out, stay calm, be cool, you gotta look cool. Just They like oh, like I freak out a little bit because again, it's seeing these people that I've respected and looked up to for so long, and I've covered their songs. And now, Katun Bude, Source Week, I've seen it all. Wow. And then, recently, I've got a first gold medal. 이랑 같이 뭐 틱톡 찍었는데요. <목소리> 갑자기 현아 선배님이 댓글도 써주시고 <웃음> 그리고 인스타그램에서도 스토리도 올려주셨어요. She's also somebody I've looked up to for so long, and now it's become that I've become the role model for people and people are looking up to me which is something i never thought possible Thank you for the constant love and support, and I can definitely vouch for it and say K-pop can definitely change and save your life. I was born in Tulsa, a city in Oklahoma, and I was born there. It's not a big city, it's not a big city, but it's not a big city.
어, 제가 학교 다녔을 때는 I was kind of shy. 아, 약간 학교 다녔을 때는 많은 친구 있는 편 아니었어요. 그냥 I wasn't someone that went to parties or anything. I wasn't one of the, the cool kids. 제가 학교 때는 인사 아니었어요. 그래서 그냥 한국 사람 친구 한 명도 없었어요. 네. 열한 살 때는 친구랑 같은 중국어 수업을 같이 다녔는데요. 그때는 우리 선생님이 어 학생들이 너가 뭐 pop culture에 대한 프로젝트 해달라고 했어요. 그래서 그 저희 친구가 저한테는 어 우리 뭐 슈퍼주니어 헨리에 대한 프로젝트 하, 했으면 어떨까요? 물어봤는데 근데 제가 슈퍼주니어 헨리 뭐라고 했어? <웃음> 제가 뭐 그거 무엇인지 몰랐으니까 I had no idea what it was and so. Because my friend suggested to do this project over Super Junior and specifically Henry, uh, that day I went over to her house. She showed me these music videos and everything, and that's how I got to uh, discover K-pop. Backstreet Boys, Britney Spears, Janet Jackson, 아니면 Madonna 같은 아티스트인데, 근데 이렇게 K-pop 보면서 다 한국 사람 아니면 아니면 아시아 사람이라서 but seeing fellow like Korean people in this position of being like stars and performing in front of audiences and you know performing uh, pursuing their dream of course of being a performer I found myself thinking okay this is something I could potentially get into so Hyuna Sunbenimi solo book that was then Kitanen I go you don't I'm going to go to the house. So I felt like that is something I could eventually grow into. That is something I could possibly pursue. Kron realization is also Nika. No more him okay. So you have to check out toy. Alex is the one that has really <clears throat> wanted to be involved with her Korean heritage. I myself, being raised by you know a Western family all my life, never around any other Asian people, I just consider myself a total Westerner and American. I have no desire, you know, to meet or to do anything of anything of Korean heritage. Alex was so into K-pop and wanting to follow and, and do this herself. Embrace her heritage. Right. I would not, I probably would not have. And I breathe. My mother is a Korean woman. She was married to a Korean woman. Where? My mother is a Korean woman. 어떤 올페네즈 일산 쪽으로 일것 같아요. 네, 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 보육관이요. 우리 어머님이 원래 그 올페네즈 있었을 때는 아 동생이 있었는데 근데 남동생인지 여동생인지 몰 모르겠는데요. 그때는 우리 어머님이 뭐 she was holding a baby in her arms whenever she got adopted. So whenever she left the orphanage, she had to leave her sibling behind, which is very sad, actually, now that I think about it. I have an aunt or an uncle somewhere in Korea that I don't know. She wanted to find her birth parents, because I know there's cases where sometimes if you get adopted, like, sometimes people don't want to find their birth family, they don't want connection with it, but my mom wanted to find her birth parents and her mother, so. I 
가수로 활동하고 있으니까 제가 뭐좀 유명해진다면 아마 뭐 어느 날에 누군가 뭐 TV 볼 때는 얘는 누구 닮았다고 생각하면 아마 아 맞아 우리 뭐 옛날에 우리 딸뭐 <웃음> 오피니즈로 좀 보냈는데 혹시 우리 granddaughter인가요? 우리 niece인가요? It would be interesting if you know somebody eventually saw me on TV and was like, huh, she looks kind of familiar. I wonder if she has any connection to the daughter we put up for adoption those years ago. But success, 성공할 건지 안할 건지 모르겠지만, 네 그냥 여기 한국에 있었을 때는 우리 어머님의 품은 좀 찾고 싶은 마음이 있어요. And it was really kind of touching to see this kind of reaction. So seeing words of encouragement that really helped uh, drive me forward to further pursue my dream. 모든 학교 때는 저희 SNS에서 저희 cover dance 올리기 시작했거든요. <웃음> 이상 준비하고 화장도 하고 그런 커버 영상 찍고 올렸어요. Gained more followers. At one point, I remember, I think I was at 10,000 followers at one point. 근데 <웃음> 이건 좀 재밌는 얘기인데 어느 날은 제가 목도를 컸다가 누군가 저한테는 어 나랑 셀피 찍을래? 근데 그 사람이 누군지 몰랐어요. 그 다른 학생 누군지 몰랐어요. <웃음> 그리고는 and yet I was having difficulty letting go and giving her permission to do the same thing. She was on, she was on social media, you know, and she had built up a big following. And we wanted her to focus on school. And so I told her, I made her bring her laptop down and delete every social media account. And she was crying and she did it. And she came back down and she was just so sad. She, she, she went back upstairs and she reopened her account behind her back and, and she wound up doubling her following in like the next two, three months. And so we just began to realize that all these people believed in her and what kind of parents would we be if we weren't believing in her too. Seeing that people actually enjoyed watching my cover videos, that kind of made me think, you know, there's a chance of me actually being able to become a K-pop artist, becoming a star one day, if you will. 나중에 저희 노래로 뭐 무대 할수 있겠다고 생각했어요. 네. Passion, I guess, to be like, okay, now, now is the time for me to actually reach the rest of the world now. 어느 날에 제가 cover 대회? cover contest 어, 찾았어요. category 세개 있는데 댄스, 랩, 보컬. Out of the 300 people that auditioned, there was 100 in each category and 2016년에 제가 1등 했는데 그 다음 년에 2017년대는 제가 그냥 1등 뿐만 아니라 제가 약간 전체적으로 1등으로 했어요. 제가 제일 많은 투표 받았어요. 그때는 
Rising Legends was this online competition where K-pop hopefuls were going to audition in various uh, areas like singing or dancing or um, performance, whatever it might be. Uh, an agency like JYP Entertainment was involved, Cube Entertainment was involved. This was a really big competition and a really big deal. I was so lucky to be asked to be a judge for the competition and totally remember that Alex Christine just blew us away uh, in her dance category. She not only got the judges on her side, but she got viewers who were watching her on YouTube and were voting for her online. I think that really gets to show just, just how much potential she had. And... 그래서 갑자기 뭐 초나 왔는데 어 알렉사 축하해 너가 1등 했어 했었더라고요. Oh my god, 그때는 I started crying. <웃음> 너무 행복했으니까 울었어요. 왜냐면은 1등 했었으면 약간 한국 갈수 있었어요. It was so surreal for me because I was able to go to Korea with my mom who had not been back to Korea since she was adopted when she was five. So, oh, I'm so proud of you. This is such a good opportunity. Like, good job. Like, I can't wait to go to Korea with you. It was definitely a very interesting experience for my mother and I, because she had never been, you know, around people who look like her. Mm. It's I think pork. Oh, look at the walkway. It's so cute. Oh, I love that. Mom, look at the lights. Look at the lights. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look how beautiful. Welcome back home, Mom. <laughs> yes, it's a definite welcome back home after 50, 53 years. Yeah. 53 welcome years. back to Korea. <laughs> Don't cry. I'm crying, I'm sorry. It's okay. This is special. Thank you, I You're love welcome. you. It's okay, it's okay. Oh. Uh, when I came to Korea, I was also able to film a music video and record a song. You, you good? Yeah. You should have sent a warning, a signal from above. If I knew you were coming, I would have prepared for your love. Now that I'm standing here, I'm thinking, strike it up. I'm starting to feel that fire we share. Strike it up. 노래 녹음도 했고 안무를 더 배우고 뮤비 촬영도 했고 그런 거다 했다고 다시 미국으로 갔는데. 제가 천하 받았는데요. Hey, so since Zany Bros filmed your music video, they actually are kind of interesting in starting an entertainment company, and we're wondering if you wanted to be their first trainee. 어떻게 생각하시냐고? Uh, so I was like, of course, I I would love to do this. It sounds like a great opportunity for me. So of course I agreed. I agreed. I was more than thrilled. I was so happy to get this opportunity. 하루 동안 열 여섯 시간 열 여덟 시간쯤 매일 매일 연습했어요. 그때는 밥 먹고 그때 바로 다시 연습도 시작했고. You still look like a skeleton. Like, I'm not getting anything from your movements at all. I've taught you grooves, I've taught you how to follow the rhythm of music, and it's still not there. So you have to work on that. Okay. I took it really personally against myself. Nervousness and doubt fuel 
것처럼 됐어요. It gave me power to keep pushing to do better because I knew I could. Yeah. 어느 날에 제가 어, 회사로 갔는데 근데 갑자기 우리 우리 어, 대표님이 음. 저를 좀 불러셨어요. 잘셨어? 음. 너 여기 안 추워? 어, 안 추워. 안 추워? 괜찮아. 너 여기 먼저 한국에 먼저 얼마 됐어? 자, 1년 반 지났어, 그렇지? 1년 하고 더 지났어, 오버 1년, 그렇지? 네. 1년 동안 뭐 했어? 진우쌤이랑 같이 제가 잘못했는 거 있나 있냐고 좀 생각했는데 Like did I mess up? Did I do something? 교수님 이렇게 대면할 수 있을 것 같아? 자신 있어? 자신 있어요 말마 말마 알렉스 크리스티는 귀여운 소년인데 알렉사는 아티스트란 말이야 아티스트 그렇지? 사람들이 좋아할 가치가 있어야 되잖아. 있어 없어? 약간 뭐 What is What is your worth to the company? Can you prove that you're worth keeping? Like you know, do you think you have the potential to achieve that? 그때는 진짜 무서웠어요. 오늘 그거 얘기하려고 부른 거야. 그래서 이 안에 이 공소 안에는 네가 알렉스 크리스틴으로 돌아가는 알렉사로 돌아가는 데가 적혀 있어. 그때는 우리 대표님이 뭐 봉투, 엔벨롭 좀 주었는데 계획 취소되는 거 있어요. 그래서 너가 사인하고 그런 대위 계획도 다 취소되고 또 알렉사라는 이름도 취소하고 너 다시 미국으로 털사로 가서 그냥 일반 사람 다시 될 거라고요. And you, you, you have to go back to your home to t u s a <웃음> 제가 울고 싶지 않았어요. 그때는 아 너무 열심히 참아했는데 그냥 그 봉투 열리면서 그냥 뭐 종이에서 너가 데뷔 할 거야 축하해 <웃음> 쓰고 있었어요. 아 그때 <웃음> 퐁퐁 울었어요. 너무 무섭고 근데 너무 행복했는데. The actual debut was set for like Halloween time. Oh my god! Wonderful! Now I'm crying! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's wonderful! So is there gonna be like a big old party or something? <laughs> is there gonna be a party? Is there gonna be a party? <laughs> I don't really know. Alex on the damn floor. Oh my god, it's a party. Um... I was so happy. It's, it was truly a dream come true. So I've kind of always pursued creative things. I was so intrigued by the storyline that they were creating from the first music video with Bob. We were kind of wondering, is she a girl? Is she a robot? Is she a cyborg? Is she an AI? You know, there were, there were all these kind of questions we had. And since then, they've continued that story and it's been in three different parts where we've been able to watch the Alexis story kind of unfold. 
the recent music video for Extra actually went back in time for Alexa. They had a bit of a throwback sound with the actual song. So the fact that we were able to kind of throw it back with, with Alexa and, and see her past and see how she got to where she was, that was a really smart move. And I think uh, I just love that Alexa does that and that there's so much in the videos, in the performance for us to take in and really sink our teeth into. 아, 저희 팬분들이 AI Trooper라고요. 아, since they're called AI Troopers because my overall concept is AI. Having this kind of fan base full of such loving and kind people, it's truly amazing to think that. 저희 팬분들을 그냥 직접 볼수 있어서 기대합니다. significant because it was the first offline K-pop event in America since the pandemic had started. This was pretty cool because I think it hopefully made people feel, you know, that, that K-pop hadn't forgotten about American fans. Now, fans, please remain standing for the U.S. National Anthem, performed tonight by a breakout K-pop star who's appeared internationally on the Billboard charts and has accumulated 50 million views on her music videos since her debut in 2019. Please welcome, Alexa. is a huge honor for an artist so young in her career to be able to take such a national big stage like that at a Major League Baseball game. I thought it was so cool that she was not only able to represent uh, her American culture and come home to America and be able to sing that national anthem, but also do that while representing Korea too. She clearly was there on behalf of K-pop, representing K-pop. I think they introduced her as a K-pop superstar. It really was a huge honor and I was so excited to see that news. I, I was like maybe I should go to LA to come cheer her on because it really was just such a cool, a cool moment and I know so many people were, were so proud of her. It's just a momentous occasion for her. It's fantastic. It was wonderful. It was so good. It was just so exciting to watch her do it. I loved it. It was wonderful. It's now time for the night time to ceremonial first bit. I haven't seen my family in two years, so being able to have seen them was it was very nice. Thank <laughs> through some of the comments after she makes posts and you know a lot of these followers say oh, you know we look up to you because you know you are just you you don't pretend to be anything and we strive to 
to be able to be ourselves and not be held down by any sort of you know criticism and so when you read things like that you realize whether Alexa meant to or not she is helping others home country joy because I started out as someone that was a fan of other people, I know what that what it's like to be a fan of someone. You constantly want to support them, love them, and you know, just give them everything you have. So seeing that that's where I started, and now I've become that person for somebody, it's, it's really wild to me, but I'm very grateful to be in the position I'm in. Someone like me, who's still starting out, but I'm from Oklahoma, which is like kind of the middle of nowhere. Weekends never oh, I hope they don't get disappointed because it's me. No. Oh, if you here, good luck. They'll open the door for me, right? Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you're from Oklahoma, if you're from Malaysia, if you're from, I don't know, Ukraine or something, you know. Now, with all those things in mind, it just gives you the passion to go forward. Don't stop pushing for your dreams, you know, they're not impossible. can definitely vouch for it and say K-pop can definitely change and save your life.